Italian tiran deniz açıkları. Greetings from the Ponza Island in the Tyrrhenian Sea. We've been here for a couple of days and we are about to leave. Now we are waiting for our ferry boat. If you're driving through Italy and if you're hanging around Rome or Naples and want to see a typical Italian island and if the weather is good, here is Ponza. It is the biggest one of the archipelago Pontine Islands. Car ferry is the slowest crossing, which takes two and a half hours. Hydrofoil is quicker, it takes about an hour. Car ferry is slow, but enjoyable. It's nice to travel on the deck, you know, with sunshine or sunset, sailing through the sea breeze and seeing other islands sighted on horizon it's nice i've been particularly fascinated with two things about the pons island the first is the incredibly fresh fish let me wear my sunglasses it's too bright what i was saying yes live fish just caught in the morning and brought to the fish market and to the restaurants any fish, any seafood that you can imagine. So what we did was obvious. We ate only fish and seafood during our holiday. What else can be done on an island? The first evening we ate in a restaurant and paid 50 euros for two persons. It's an honest price. Once you sit down to eat in a restaurant, you are supposed to spend about 15 to 20 euros per person and you enjoy really tasty and fresh seafood. The day after we bought fish from the fish market, we organized a barbecue party. We organized it on the terrace of the apartment we rented. Our next door neighbors were from Rome too, so we become friends and ate together. My husband cooked pasta with octopus sauce, grilled octopus as well, and swordfish. In the morning, we'd seen the fishermen unloading just caught swordfish. We followed it to discover to which market stall it was being brought. We both also anchovies, fried and marinated, so it was a pleasant dinner. Where to stay in Ponza? Apart from the booking home or other sites which offer hotel rooms for each budget, you can also find local estate agents who rent holiday apartments there are a lot of holiday rental agents in Ponza. Some of them are right in the arbor. It's better to reserve something in advance, of course. As we had decided suddenly to visit Ponza, we booked a last-minute accommodation. While we were on the deck of the ferry boat, we managed to book something. It's a studio flat with a panoramic terrace We paid 50 euros per night, it's okay for early June. The high season will be starting soon. This island is not the right place for luxury lovers or long sand beach lovers. There are a few long sand beaches, they are beautiful. Since it has a volcanic origin, coves, caves and rocky bays dominate the landscape. The best way to enjoy the unspoiled nature of the island is of course to rent a boat. The boats are hired with or without captain. Of course without captain is more relaxing. At least for us it's been like this. 
The boats are easy to use, no license is required. You are given a short briefing how to use it. The daily costs are between 50 to 200 euros, depending on the size of the boat. Bargaining is possible, plus the fuel cost, which is about 5 to 15 euros. Sailing along the cliffy coasts, stopping to swim in beautiful hidden bays, sunbathing and snorkeling. There is a portable refrigerator on the boat, so you can bring your drinks and food. Renting a boat is almost essential. I was talking about the two things that fascinated me. The first one is yeah, the amazingly fresh seafood. The second one is a plant, um, a sort of shrub that grows spontaneously everywhere on the island. It's called Rush Broom. It's incredibly fragrant with yellow and white flowers. It has a marvelous scent. This is exactly the scent which is imitated in many soaps and perfumes in the world. What makes it even more fascinating is the spontaneity of this beauty, without any effort. While walking or driving on the island, a sweet smell arrives with a sea breeze. These are the two things that I'll always remember about this island. Here is an ideal location for those who want to relax with peace in mind. A typical fisherman village without demanding too much. You might find the service sector either poor or satisfactory. It depends on where you are from. If you are from a country with highly developed sense of service or not. Anyway, islands usually tend to be rustic. Together with the lagoon ones in Venice, there are about 80 islands in Italy. Ponza isn't as famous as other Italian islands, like Capri, Sardinia or Sicily. Here is rather popular with Italians. Foreign tourists don't know much about this off-the-beaten-track destination. It's not so big, just 7.5 square kilometers. So, how to arrive here? If you're driving, you first get to the Formia harbor and you take your ticket from the harbor. If you want to buy your ticket online, here are some useful websites to book and buy tickets. If you don't drive, you must arrive to the Formia train station from Rome, for example. There are regional trains from the Termini station to Formia station and from the station you can walk or take a taxi or a bus to arrive to the harbor. Formia is the main departure point. In the high season there are other departure points as well. What else can I mention? I've just talked about dining and accommodation. Staying in a holiday apartment is comfortable even for a few days, I can suggest it, especially if you like fishing, barbecue and uh, your own breakfast habits. Sometimes it's even cheaper. Eating out is also a good experience, from traditional family-owned small restaurants to much sophisticated ones, even with Michelin star. The culinary tradition of the island is a mixture of Naples and Roman cuisine in company with a fantastic sunset and an excellent glass of wine. If you'd like a snack, street food, you'll see small bakery shops, so slice cut pizza in the bakery is a good choice or you can create your own sandwich in grocery shops. Cheese, famous ponza tomatoes, hams. This is what we did for lunch on the boat. It's not the full summer yet. We have been lucky enough with the weather. 
It's always beautiful to travel and to see new places. Thank you.